Hello and welcome back. Today we are continuing on as... Where's our name? Oh, there's our name. As the French Commune. Uh, last episode, we subjugated both Russia and the United States. Well, it's left of them at least, after we unpurchased that Louisiana a few episodes ago. Uh, we also took some dirt off the Chinese. Uh, now they're subjugatable. And uh, this episode... Uh, oh, sorry. What we also did last episode was we promised that we'd get to 30k construction and then we turned out to be a dirty liar. We only got to 22 slash 23k and, you know, just further indication of both cowardice and lack of skills. So, this episode, we're going to try and push to 40k to make up for that. Uh, so we'll see if we can do it. We'll see if my computer can do it. I really don't know if we can fill a 40k construction queue. Uh, that's a question to be answered today, I suppose. Uh, you see the the deficit. The deficit's not real. It can't hurt you. Just ignore it. Uh, it's not real. It can't hurt you. So, and also what we'll be trying to do this episode, I think we're kind of climbing to the end of the run uh, because of game performance. Why don't we just unpause and uh, reveal it. Ooh, Monday morning. I'll see you in two minutes and so what we'll be doing is i think we'll be trying to clean up the french commune name uh <laughs> not the french commune name in terms of the infamy that cannot be unclean uh but the french commune name in terms of uh where it positions over the top of our uh ooh, big lag uh over the top of uh you know both Eastern and Western France. Uh, you know, we started out as Western France, and now we have to, you know, put some in on Eastern France. And so I think that this is a worthy gold, uh, gold, uh, goal, and we'll be trying to do that today and see if we can do that, get to 40k construction, and then just vibe, you know what I mean? Well, 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 look at this petition for uh, collectivized agriculture. You know what? We'll get right on that, right on that as soon as possible. This petition for collectivized agriculture will get right on it. Hopefully we'll be able to pass it soon. Hopefully we can manage to find enough support to be able to pass such a difficult to pass law. You know, we'll have to go through the whole procedure. We'll have to discuss it, amend it, and then approve it. It's gonna be a struggle, but hopefully we can pass collectivized agriculture We'll see, we'll see, big start. I find it a bit amusing that we now have native interests in literally everywhere except for the North Sea. Uh, but also what we're gonna do here is we're gonna increase, oh, we're already increased this a little bit. We're not gonna keep that as high as possible, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna put down a decree, a greener grass campaigns on New York, and then we are gonna absolutely blast their infrastructure up. And the reason being is we really wanna drive an enormous amount of migration to New York because they have this 20% output put on electricity and uh this is kind of the the throttle that is currently bricking us right now and so we're gonna look to get that as high as possible now maybe we shouldn't even incorporate so if we don't incorporate we will get the extra throughput here um but i think we'll just i think we will incorporate but it's worth noting that we are gonna lose out on throughput from colonial exploitation as we do incorporate but we will win in terms of a ton of taxes that we get off these pops here in New York uh, that we are going to do this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to absolutely, we're going to delete all the farms when we can. And we're going to absolutely blast, uh, you know, railways, which we already are in the queue. Uh, but this on top of greener grass campaigns will help more uh, people get here. What do you know? We were able to get it through. That's crazy. That's so wild. Hope I'm so happy we were able to, you know, do the petition. And so what we will do is we will get extra loyalists and legitimacy wow that was big nice um, was a little bit of a scare but somehow we managed to do it so uh, I think we're pretty set in terms of the laws we want overall um, we completed the petition Wow um, <clears throat> You know, I don't think we need any major changes. We might change a few things here or there, but collectivized agriculture is probably uh, towards the end of like what we want to be doing. I suppose we could mess around with workers' protections, uh, but that would be a lot of stimulus. I don't know if uh, that would nuke the economy or not. I mean, there is no other economy, so it's not like other people can dump into our market because other people don't really make goods. This is just all us. And so we'll see what we can do. Uh, but yeah, just continuing on, uh, the war hasn't popped with them yet. They are unlikely to back down because they just never back down uh, in this situation. So we'll just annex them in force and continue to go roll through the German, sorry, the Eastern French miners uh, in order to get a better looking French border. The French commune dream. I too dream of a French commune. 
It can't be that harming. A French commune in South Dakota. Really, that's when I dream. These are my dreams. Now, whether they're nightmares or, you know, pleasant dreams, that remains to be said. But the French commune in South Dakota, it really is the American dream, isn't it? It's just not as American as you thought. It's more baguettes and centaurs. This is absolutely outstanding. Let's move this here so we can see that in our election, the single party state did in fact get all of the votes. 100% of the votes went to the single party. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, so we should be hyper hyper legitimate now. I think this is our first election following and I believe we can put these guys in government. Yeah, and still be righteous. We don't really want the armed forces clout to uh, disappear. We're trying to get the petite bourgeoisie back up. Um, but currently we would actually prefer the trade unionist clout to be a little bit lower. And so maybe one of the drawbacks here of the single party state is it makes it difficult for you to preserve the clout of groups that are not a part of the party um, which is a bit interesting uh, you know these industrialists are right on the cusp of decaying down into insignificance which is nice because then we won't be getting um, this malice but we are trying to bring the petite bourgeoisie up uh, a big part of why the petite bourgeoisie are not particularly strong the sacred union let's see what this is about Uh, we're gonna do this just because we want the petite bourgeoisie to gain some political strength and they get all IG approval so that's actually kind of nice um, but uh, the big reason why the petite bourgeoisie is not particularly powerful is the petite bourgeoisie uh, in order to gain membership or I think uh, one of the weightings towards membership is you have to be the primary culture pop and if we click the pop button of course we implode the game uh, currently but what we are going to see when we click the pop button is a huge chunk of our <clears throat> a huge chunk of our uh, pops Ugh. Oh, geez, we meant to click the culture button. Even worse, now the game implodes yet again. Okay, uh, if we sort by, uh, you know, population, we will see that most of our, or the, our most uh, common pop isn't even French. Um, and so this makes it, uh, you know, when you are incorporating a whole bunch of, and conquering a whole bunch, this makes it hard for the petite bourgeoisie uh, to become big because only the French are eligible to become petite bourgeoisie. And so... This is presenting difficulties, but we would like to get them up and going uh, and also happy with us. Right now, they're not happy with us, but we would really like to get both the bureaucracy uh, bump and the loan interest rate bump. So we'll see. We might go authoritarian, regressive, just to make them happy and do this sort of thing if we can. Oh, baby, we did it here. Look, we got the nice French commune name right over France, right smack dab in the middle of France. We got Western France and then Eastern France. And so now we have just kind of a lot of options regarding like what we want to do next. We might just be like annexing the biggest boyos. Um, this is generally a pretty good approach, uh, but we'll find a war. We'll declare it and we'll continue on. Um, we could do the veiled. Oh, no, we probably failed the veiled protectorate. Well, we have 24 months. We could just like pop it them just to get it uh which is a bit of a meme because it doesn't really do anything substantive or we could try and find i mean the british have been having this revolt for forever we could probably dow on the british why can't we dow at all why can't we dow the british i'm a little confused here okay we can dow the british we just had to declare neutrality in their war um and we would get uh be able to go after Br uh brunei sierra leone and benin as well just trying to annex those boyos Maybe that's the best war. We'll try and figure one out, uh, but it's probably that. In a way, this war is really a bit of an apology because, you know, we removed all the tea from their market and now we're saying, hey, you know what? We have a ton of tea in our market and you, just as a, as, a, as a show of good faith, we're going to let you into our market, which is, by the way, isolationist. Can't import the tea from them otherwise. 40k tea. Let's go, baby. And so you cannot import tea to us because uh, we took our bottle and we went home. Uh, but we'll just bring you into the fold like a good older brother and um, give you access to the tea. And... Well, we might tea board them a little bit, but that's that's kind of another thing. A little bit of a status update on Great Britain, which is delightful, is their capital, because of the revolution, the liberal revolution that uh, they got tied up with, that looks like they eventually got peace with, uh, that was a status quo peace. Um, because of that, uh, their capital is in Northern Ireland, which is pure delight uh who knew the capital of great britain would of course be in northern ireland a very not contentious place about being in the uk 
Would you look at that migration attraction in New York, the number of the beast in terms of unemployed, but we have migration attraction of 128, we're getting Teeming Shore, we're getting the Statue of Liberty, uh, we're getting a Great Power, we're getting Greener Grass campaigns, and then base 26 standard of living, unused arable land for 20, it could be up to 25 and available employment 10, so we are just blasting every year 500 uh, thousand new pops into here which is going to help facilitate uh, you know fully employing these electrical places which electricity is kind of like the one thing we have expensive we've been holding back a little expanding it all over the place but we're going to in particular look to build in New York if we are trying to be super efficient we also probably would go steam turbine instead of trying to meme up you know 50k construction or however much I promised at the start of this video um, because this would be a lot better and the constructions stop being useful and man oh man does it make the game lag uh, but overall you know that's 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 the way things go uh, a university in Nebraska sure why not uh, let's go corn huskers so we grab peace or we proposing peace and after Great Britain accepts finally finally they can drink tea -ers. or tea Whichever they prefer, but they are now a subject of ours. Uh, I don't think we can declare war on the British Liberal Revolt until after we've annexed Great Britain, which is uh, kind of a weird thing. Uh, but this episode, we went after Great Britain. We did up construction a little bit, uh, getting a little sticky, uh, having trouble kind of with this sort of thing. Uh, uh, this might be the last episode we play uh, because it is starting to move real slow. It's not even 1900 yet. Uh, you know, we have the back third of the game left, but I also don't blame the game because we have 27k construction here. Uh, and for Billy GDP, uh, you know, missing out on a, a ton of key technologies for, like, making stuff feel good, but, um, you know... If it doesn't, yeah, it just feels bad. So let's just quickly look at this. Um... Uh, you know, we have prestige of 25k, GDP of 4 bill. Uh, the next one is Great Xing, who is, by the way, not a major power. Uh, so they are puppetable. If uh, we didn't have a truce with them, we could puppet them. We have pretty high standard of living, not the highest, and a population of nearly a billion. Um, we could quickly, you know, integrate uh, Japan and, like, this sort of thing. Uh, maybe that's kind of the direction things could, should go. Um, if this episode, or if this, this is the end of the run than it is um we could clean this up a little bit but i think we've uh very firmly planted you know our flag in both eastern or sorry eastern and western france uh you know as uh What's his name? Charlemagne intended. Uh, we unpurchased the Louisiana, and uh, we took all the tea out of the British market, and then very graciously allowed them into our market. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and other than that, have a good day.